So maybe now we'll put on some little grassy areas down here in the bottom. So just get some sap green and put a, a dark green back in the shadows here, just on top of those black lines that you made. You can barely see them, but they'll be there. Tap them on with your fan brush, a small fan brush here. Just tap them on, tap, tap, tap. Pull up a few of these little bits of grass. Tap, 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 pull up. So you want the grass to be a bit dark back here. Just so that, because it's still shadowy back there, you don't want it to, uh, it has to go with the scene. So just some grass as you come forward, you can get a bit lighter. Tap on top of the black lines. Pull up a few little grassy areas. There we go. Tap on some more. Pull up. Pull up at the corner of your brush if you have to. Tap, tap, and pull up. Tap, tap, tap. Pull up. Good. They don't have to be perfectly straight because they're probably floating around under the water. Tap under those dark lines and pull up. Good. Good. Just doing it quickly because I have more stuff to put on there for you. So let's go with some grassy area. Good. So at least got some grass on there now. Grass or moss or whatever is down under the water. And now we can make an old stump. Maybe a big old rock or stump. Just put your um, your brush, small flat brush, and some black paint. Get it started. Pick a spot where you want your stump. Just touch and pull down. Make it a bit wider. There we go. That's your stump. And then take a bit of white on the same brush. A bit of white. And start a little further down. Leave some black on the top. And touch and pull down. There we go. That's good. Let's make another rock. Get a bit of brown and a bit of red, a bit of blue. And we're going to make a rock. Let's make a rock probably right here. Just make a straight line, straight line, and a hump, and fill it in. Now we have a rock. While your brush is still a bit dirty, that's okay. Put a bit of yellow on there, a little bit of red. Give it an orangey look. And pull that down on the rock. So just take it and start from here, top, and pull down, pull down. And that's not bright enough, I'm just gonna add a little more yellow. Pull down, pull down. Just give me a highlight. Okay. It's a bit of a rock there. Now. So we can put in a couple more rocks. Let's do one. So brown and blue, a bit of red. Let's see, where can we put another rock? How about over here? Just a straight line and a hump. We'll make a smaller one this time. There we go. And then pick up a little bit of red and yellow and throw on a little highlight. Touch and pull forward. Good. Touch and pull forward. Now, you can lighten that up a little bit more if you want. Add a little bit of white to your color. Leave your brush dirty. And just pull down a few little highlights here and highlight here. Good. Let's see, would you like some more rocks? How about anywhere at all? So probably one up here. Just a small one in the corner. 
straight line, a hump, and a bit of lighter color, and pull forward. Good. Just when you have to go back and highlight, that's good. If that's too white, just go back in and pull it around the rest of the rock. Just move it around a little bit. Make sure you keep some shadow color. That's all. Just keep keep your shadow. All right. I think that's it for the rocks. For now, we can always add more after. So, so over in this corner here, let's put some moss. So let's go in with a dark green. So your sap green. If you don't have sap green, just get some green and add a bit of uh, dark, uh, blue to it to darken it up. And then just tap in some nice little bits of moss. There we go. All around your rock. Down around the front. Good. I just leave that much so far. And then take a bit of yellow, a little bit of white, and just tap on the top of that to get some highlights. So a bit of white, a bit of yellow. There we go. That will brighten it up for you. And now let's get blue and red, make a purple color. Tap into blue, tap into red, and put that down here. There we go. Can you see that? It's next to the rock. It almost looks like a rock, doesn't it? So you can spread it out a little bit if you like. And then just take a smaller brush, that was a, a flat brush, flat bristle brush. And just take a smaller bristle brush and add some nice little white, a little bit of yellow and white, just little white tops. Touch, 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 touch. There we go. Touch. All right. And over in this corner to the left, we'll put in some, oh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get the dark green again. Tap into your sap green or whatever color green you got and put a bit of blue and it's not dark enough. And then make a nice touch, touch, touch nice dark green over here so a little kind of bush there we go so you have to have, <coughs> have to have an underpainting in order to put some color on there and then on the top of that let's go with some red just tap into your red i got a real mess here now so to tap into some red tap into some white okay red and white and then on top of that little bush we made there, let's just put in some nice colorful some kind of flowers or something growing down there. We don't know what's going on down the ocean. I've never been down there. And put some more white on top of what you already did. Just to brighten it up. There we go. Good. Just use your imagination. Just use your imagination. You can put whatever you want at the bottom of the ocean. These are just a few ideas that I thought I would give you. And let's put in some, uh, let's see. Let's put in some of these guys. Touch and pull down. 
touch and pull down, touch and pull down, touch and pull down, just a few, and there we go, a little bit of yellow to brighten it up, see, simple. And right here, we can put in, put in more of these. And what we'll do is make it a little bigger. And then we'll put some highlights on it. So pick, I got a fan brush. Put some yellow on your fan brush. There we go. And just pull in some lines to highlight them like that. Pull in some lines. Now, pull up. There we go. Just adding color and all these things that go on down the ocean. Good. We put a couple of those around here. The ones that you pulled up, just put some yellow on top of those to highlight them. It's bits of grass and moss and whatever else is down there. Just use your fan brush to put the, diff the other color on, some yellow, and just put that on there. Don't have to be too fussy because it's all moving around under the ocean. So you want to look like a bit of movement anyway. Good. There's another one here, the yellow, a little bit of white, just to brighten it up. Just touch it if you have to. Just touch it with the corner of your, your brush if you like. That brightens it up. We're just adding some color now and using your imagination, see? Good. So you can add whatever you want. Use your imagination, look at some pictures, and come up with some of your own ideas to put at the bottom of the ocean. I'm just going to put some red and blue and brown together for now. And I'm going to tap in some color here. There we go. It's a pretty color. And we'll lay some color on top of this. So I'm just using a bristle brush, a small flat bristle brush, and I'm just going to add some white on top of that. It's still wet, so the white will blend in with the red, and it'll give a nice pinkish color. Tap, 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 and that gives us some color. Good. And um, let's see, let's see. Let's get some more green. Nice dark green. Green, you can add green and brown together and blue. You get all kinds of stuff going on here. So let's put something here. So I'm just adding some moss and some flowers. And you can do the same thing. So now, same brush, flat bristle brush, some yellow and green. And just put some little colors on top of there. Good. Just add color. And you can have whatever colors you want. Just tap around. Tap around to get the colors. So with your fan brush, pick up some red and some white. Red and white. Don't have to be totally mixed. You can just all separate it. And let's pull in some things that are coming in through here. Just for color. Isn't that pretty? Just using my fan brush. And on the other side we can have a lighter one. 
maybe we'll have something with some yellow in it. All, all colors. Pick up whatever color you want. And then let's pull one in here. It's a lighter one here. Good. Now I'll just give you some color on the edges there. Now. Now just tap away at the bottoms of those to, to make it go in with the rest of the scenery and tap away wherever you need to just at the bottoms maybe a little bit in here just to make it look like there's something going on there you don't know for sure what it is but just tap in some little colors there I don't know maybe some blue some red and some white to give it a purplish look clean off your brush you can use a bristle brush or you can use a flat sable or just whatever works for you Right, so just bringing in some color here, some shadows, some colors, and just tapping away. Tap, tap, tap. That's all I'm doing. And whatever comes off on your brush is good because it could be little flowers or something going on there. Just take a bit of black on one side of your brush and white on the other. Black and white. Let's make some of these. Touch and pull, touch and pull. The light is coming in on this side. We should have some more highlight over here and over here. The light is coming down from above, so it could shine on anything there at all. Whatever way you want it. So what I think I'm going to do is, you can put more rocks in there if you like. You know, more rocks would probably look nice. Just take a small brush and put some dark colors on there. Maybe there's a rock here. Maybe there's a rock here. Where? Here. And there and there. Maybe there. Some small little rocks here. Anywhere at all that you want to put your rocks. There where you just touch and pull. You can pick up brown and, and white on the other side. Just see what kind of rocks you get there. Let's see. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Good. A couple of little rocks here and there. And just You can add all kinds of stuff. Just touch and pull. See that? See how it's starting to fill up there now? Just by adding a few little details. And they're so much fun. Put a little rock here. Just touch and pull. I put brown on one side, white on the other. Small flat brush. And I just touch and pull. Touch and pull. Touch and pull. You get these little rocks. Good. So wherever you want them. Touch and pull. All kinds of little things going on down under the ocean. Okay, let's put in a few little fish. So we'll try a couple of little fish in the background that are floating around. So I just get a small little flat brush and just put some blue on there for now, just so we can get some pretend fish way in the back. Just little fish floating around, little dots. Looks like lots of fish going on back there, floating around. That's all you need to do is get some darker ones back there and then you can get some red on one side and yellow on the other. Let's see if we can get a little fish going out here. Touch. Looks like a little fish. How about one coming down here. There we go. It's like the one you made your rocks. You just touch and pull. Looks like little fish. You can even have a blue one with some white on one side and blue on the other. And just touch. Looks like a little fish. You can have as many as you want. Little fish floating around. I see a little bit back here. 
Okay, so just put in whatever kind of fish. You can have bigger ones. You can have different colors. And I think I'm going to add one more thing, and then you can go ahead and add all the stuff that you want yourself. Okay, I think I need to have a little bit of bluish colors in there, because I like blue under the water. So I'm tapping into blue and tapping into white. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Let's see, let's see. Where can we put a bit of blue? Let's put a bit of blue here. It's okay to go over what you got done. That's nice. And then put some white on top of it. Just to get a bit of bluish colors going on there. I like to add all kinds of nice colors. Oops. So I'll add a couple of small bits of blue in there because I like blue. So just tap on some blue, pick out a few spots that you want a bit of blue, and let's see, let's see. I got a bit of blue over here, that's good enough. And you, you can look at it and put on more if you want. And just put some white on top of the blue that you tapped on, and you got a nice little blue section. Blue is a really nice color for under the water. So you can add more details to that if you like. You can highlight more and do all kinds of stuff. So you go ahead and have a bit of fun with your painting. And just play with it and add color. Color, color, color. Lots of color. Wherever you want it. And put some fish in there with lots of color. There we go. So that's it. That's it for our beautiful under the water shark. Under the sea. Under the sea. So pretty. Okay guys, go ahead and do your under the sea and if you want to send a copy of your painting to Alison Pryor at yahoo.com. I'd love to see it. And if you got any questions, leave them in the comments section and let me know uh, if you have any questions about this painting and anything at all. And if you can subscribe, you'll get more. I got lots more videos coming up soon. And we'll have lots of fun painting. Happy painting from Alison Pryor.